Something happened inside of me when the space shuttle went away. It was a really sad feeling. You may have thought originally that it was going to be the end, but it was just the end of a chapter and that the next chapter is just beginning. That's going to be a historic event, something that I think as a nation we really should take pride in. After 15 years of hard work, failures, breakdowns, and motivations, Sierra Space is finally ready to ship Dream Chaser Tenacity to NASA for its final testing and launch. The program of developing a space plane that would be capable of carrying the crew to and from space was actually started at Space Dev Company. However, it was purchased by Sierra Nevada in 2008. Dream Chaser is a follow-up effort after HL-20, designed by NASA's Langley Research Center almost 30 years ago, that never took a single flight. Even HL-20 was a different idea, in fact. It was designed as a reverse engineer to BOR-4, a space plane by the Soviet Union that was spotted in the Indian Ocean after its first flight. SpaceDev licensed the HL-20 concept from NASA in 2006, yet later, when Sierra Nevada took control of this, Dream Chaser was proposed for flying astronauts to and from the space stations. Sierra Space even won several funds from NASA's commercial crew program. However, the company lost the opportunity when NASA awarded the astronaut ferrying contracts to SpaceX and Boeing. In 2016, NASA required space planes for commercial resupply services, and this time Sierra Nevada got lucky to have a contract for flying six uncrewed cargo machines to the space station by 2024. Sierra Nevada of Sparks, Nevada, and SpaceX of Hawthorne, California. These contracts begin upon award, each contract guaranteeing a minimum of six missions. So now the Dream Chaser program was shifted to cargo-only spacecraft, temporarily quitting the human-rated design containing the windows, docking mechanism, and cockpit. Although the company was wealthy, it still didn't have a good fortune like SpaceX. That's why NASA has to obligate $1.2 billion to Sierra Space for the Dream Chaser cargo program. Sierra Nevada didn't have to do tons of work to make this crew space plane into a cargo space plane. Only 20% of the tenacity's design was required to be changed, and things were streamlined. That's why Hare, the communication representative at Sierra Space, said, to go back to a cruise ship wouldn't be so hard. Dream Chaser Tenacity was planned to take its first flight to the space station in 2019. However, we just heard its completion news in 2023. Sounds really late? Well, the company's vice president has valid reasons, as he stated that COVID really slowed us down with the supply chain, but we are now almost totally vertically integrated as a company, so we don't have those kinds of challenges in the future. We really have thought about where there were bottlenecks and we have eliminated those by bringing the work in-house. What we found almost immediately is we can move faster, make products much cheaper, and we don't have that risk. He also considered that the propulsion system of the program was a huge technical hurdle, as the spacecraft had 26 small rocket engines, each with its own capacity to operate at three discrete thrust levels to offer better control and more significant orbital adjustment. In the space industry, these thrusters require a mix of kerosene and hydrogen peroxide propellants instead of the hypergolic propellants that are so toxic that they ignite on contact with each other. We wanted to have a fuel system that was green instead of using hyperbolics so we could land it on a runway and we could walk up to the vehicle without being in hazmat suits. 
This was highly required as some of the research material that returns from space needs to be operated in low gravity. Before it gets affected by the Earth's gravity, scientists and astronauts must reach and check it out quickly. Even if this was a huge milestone to cover, it still has brought a huge revolution to research in the space industry, as now, things that were not possible before would be a reality. Dream Chaser is such a powerful space plane designed to fly continuously in orbit for up to six months. It might have been designed to operate for even more months if hydrogen peroxide propellant wasn't a limiting factor. It's an incredible design. It's extremely compact. It's about a quarter of the size of the space shuttle. The foldable wings and fuselage of the space plane are deliberately covered in custom-fitted ceramic tiles to provide robust protection to the spacecraft's composite structure from the extensive heat of the atmospheric re-entry when it returns back to the Earth. And we are talking about 3,000 degrees Celsius heat here. The company even limited the re-entry acceleration to 1.5 G, highly useful for delicate cargoes like medicines and crystals. Environmental control system ducts are installed inside the spacecraft to make a pressurized compartment within this Dream Chaser to make it safe for astronauts at the International Space Station to travel in it. Dream Chaser is 9 meters long. It can carry cargo to and from low Earth orbit, as well as support at least six astronauts, then safely land on a runway. The basic function of the Tenacity initially is to carry cargo to and from the research complex that is orbiting 240 miles above Earth. The space plane will be launched on top of a conventional rocket and left in space just like a satellite, and then land on a runway. As per expectations, Dream Chaser could complete almost 15 missions in its life. Near the production floor in the Sierra Space, a mission control room is situated where scientists and engineers will monitor and give commands to the space plane during its journey after the launch. The CEO of Sierra Space disclosed that there are still some of the tiles and covers missing from the spacecraft, but that isn't something they are trying to hide from NASA. In fact, these are the intentionally left components to be dealt with in the next round of the tests. The safety officer said, We are almost done with everything and finishing all the closeout panels as we are essentially getting it ready for shipping. We have checked out the landing gear and we are going to put everything back in, stow it, and then transport it to the fixture to get it out of here. After this amazing space plane leaves the Sierra's space factory, it will be transported to NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility. The spacecraft would be taken by road from Colorado, yet the company doesn't disclose the date of its shifting and the exact route for security reasons. Dream Chaser is actually composed of two parts. One is the space plane itself, which can only carry 2,000 pounds of cargo weight, while the other part is called the Shooting Star, which will be used for generating power and carrying up to 10,000 pounds of discarded trash from the space station back to the Earth. Upon reaching NASA, the disposable cargo module that's the Shooting Star and the Space Plane module would be connected to run through integrated tests. These tests can include vibration and acoustic tests at NASA's center in Ohio. The company said that we are going to take it down to vacuum and put it through the highs and lows of the temperature extremes that it's going to see. And if everything went well, this spacecraft would be shipped to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where it will take its first flight into space. 
Now the question is, why is this mission of dream chaser tenacity so important? This 30-foot-long space plane with a 23-foot wingspan that fits inside the payload envelope of its rocket after folding is a dream come true. Sierra Space's CEO Tom Weiss stated, Today, we have reached a profound milestone in our company's journey and the future of our industry. This achievement is the result of audacious dreaming and relentless determination. Once this space plane is up and running, it will help to carry cargo efficiently and quickly to and from space, making it possible to build new structures on the space station, which has been a dream for NASA until now. Despite having a huge space station, NASA cannot afford to keep every scientific gear in space, and it needs to come back to Earth once it's not required anymore. And that's what this space plane is going to do. Apart from that, Dream Chaser is built on the idea of accessibility, reusability, and adaptability, making it an all-rounder space plane that offers a variety of applications and a shorter turnaround time for meeting the requirements. Tenacity is a tremendous leap into technology from the Space Shuttle. Now, instead of constructing million-dollar space shuttles that consume dangerous and toxic fuel and are sometimes not even reusable, this space plane will give a new pathway to save on resources, the environment, and even money for making complex space exploration somewhat easier. No doubt, Dream Chaser is a long journey of an incredibly unique and neat spaceship with a remarkable story starting from failures and hopefully giving a new start to many recent researches and explorations. This space plane is knocking at the door of the future of space flights, having its roots in the dawn of the space age with a remarkable combination of rockets and aircraft filling the gap finally because as the voice of the company said, we are introducing the world's first revolutionary space line, and this will change how we travel from Earth to space and back again.